Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we're diving into a common kitchen mistake, refrigerating foods that shouldn't be. Stop shoving everything into that cold box, thinking it'll stay fresh. Some foods are better off left out on the counter, believe it or not. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more useful tips. Listen up, tomatoes in the fridge are sworn enemies. Keeping them chilled turns these juicy beauties into mealy, flavorless disappointments. Imagine serving up a BLT with a soggy, tasteless tomato. It's a crime. The cold air stops the ripening process, robbing your tomatoes of their flavor and texture. You want your tomatoes plump and bursting with flavor, not cold and hard like a hockey puck. Let them ripen on the counter and you'll taste the difference. A world of flavor awaits. So do yourself a favor and give those tomatoes a break from the cold. Right. Let's talk about our second food item, bread. It's one of the most beloved staples in our diet, enjoyed by people all over the world in countless forms. You spend good money on a fresh loaf, only to chuck it in the fridge and ruin it? It's a common mistake, but one that can easily be avoided with a bit of knowledge. Refrigeration might seem like a good idea to prevent mold, but it actually makes bread go stale faster. The science behind it is simple. The cold temperature accelerates the staling process. The cold air sucks out all the moisture, leaving you with a brick-like loaf that's drier than my granny's Christmas fruitcake. And nobody wants to eat that, right? Instead of refrigerating your bread, store it in a bread bin or a cool, dry place. This way, you maintain its freshness and texture for a longer period. And if you're not going to finish the whole loaf, freeze it. Freezing preserves the bread's quality without compromising its taste. Just slice it up first so you can defrost what you need. This makes it convenient to grab a slice or two whenever you want. Remember, bread is a beautiful thing. Treat it with respect and it'll reward you with deliciousness. So don't be a Muppet. Keep it out of the fridge and enjoy every bite. Our third item, potatoes, are like the workhorses of the kitchen, but even they need a little TLC. They are versatile, nutritious, and can be used in a variety of dishes, from hearty stews to light salads. And trust me, the fridge is not the place for them. Storing them in the fridge can actually do more harm than good. Storing potatoes in the cold can change their chemical composition, making them taste weird and cook unevenly. The cold temperature can cause the potatoes to develop an unpleasantly sweet flavor and a gritty texture. When potatoes are stored at low temperatures, their starches convert to sugars, resulting in overly sweet and mushy potatoes. This can ruin your favorite potato dishes, making them less enjoyable to eat. Instead, keep them in a cool, dark, and well-ventilated place. A pantry or a cellar is ideal for storing potatoes, as it provides the right conditions to keep them fresh and tasty. Just make sure they're not exposed to direct sunlight, as this can cause them to turn green and develop a bitter taste. Green potatoes contain solanine, which can be toxic if consumed in large quantities. Remember, potatoes deserve to be treated with respect. Store them properly, and they'll reward you with fluffy mashed potatoes, crispy roast potatoes, and perfect chips. Treat them well, and they will elevate your meals to a whole new level of deliciousness. Our next food item, onions are a staple in most kitchens, adding flavor and depth to countless dishes. But if you want to keep your onions fresh and pungent, you need to store them properly. The cold, damp environment of the fridge can make onions soft, moldy, and downright nasty. Instead, store your onions in a cool, dry, and well-ventilated place. A mesh bag or a basket in a cool pantry is perfect. Remember, onions are like divas. They need their space, and they hate being cold. Give them the right environment, and they'll reward you with their pungent flavor for months to come. Our fifth item, garlic, the little bulb that packs a punch. It's essential for adding depth and aroma to countless dishes. But if you're storing your garlic in the fridge, you're doing it all wrong. Refrigeration might seem like a good way to keep garlic fresh, but it can actually do more harm than good. The cold, damp environment of the fridge can cause garlic to sprout prematurely, losing its flavor. A small bowl or a mesh bag on the counter or in a pantry is ideal. Remember, garlic is a powerful ingredient that deserves to be treated with care. Store it properly, and you'll be able to enjoy its pungent flavor in all your culinary creations. Honey, nature's liquid gold. This viscous sweetener has been enjoyed for centuries and for good reason. It's delicious, versatile, and boasts a long shelf life. 
Refrigerating honey might seem like a good way to preserve its freshness, but it actually does the opposite. The cold temperature can cause honey to crystallize, making it thick, cloudy, and difficult to use. A cool, dark cupboard or pantry is ideal. Remember, honey is a natural preservative and doesn't require refrigeration to stay fresh. So do yourself a favor and keep it out of the fridge. Your taste buds will thank you for it. Coffee, our seventh item, the elixir of life. That morning cup of joe is sacred to many, so you want to make sure your beans are stored properly to preserve their flavor and aroma. The way you store your coffee beans can make a huge difference in the taste and quality of your brew. And that means keeping them far, far away from the fridge. Refrigerating coffee beans is a cardinal sin in the coffee world. The cold temperature and moisture can wreak havoc on the delicate oils that give coffee its unique flavor. The cold, damp environment of the fridge can ruin the flavor of your beans, making them taste stale and lifeless. Over time, the beans can absorb odors from other foods, further compromising their taste. Imagine your coffee tasting like last night's leftover fish. Not exactly the way you want to start your morning, right? Instead, store them in an airtight container at room temperature. This simple step can make a world of difference in maintaining the quality of your coffee beans. This will help to preserve their freshness, flavor, and aroma, ensuring a delicious cup of coffee every time. The airtight container protects the beans from exposure to air, moisture, and light, all of which can degrade their quality. Remember, coffee is a sensory experience. Treat your beans with respect, and they'll reward you with a rich, aromatic brew that will kickstart your day. So take a moment to store your beans properly and enjoy the full potential of your coffee. Basil, the herb of kings. This fragrant herb adds a touch of freshness and flavor to countless dishes, from pasta sauces to pizzas. But if you're storing your basil in the fridge, you're committing a culinary crime. Refrigerating basil is a surefire way to turn this delicate herb into a soggy mess. And nobody wants a plate of pasta adorned with sad, wilted basil, do they? Trim the stems and place the basil in a glass of water, like a bouquet of flowers. Cover the leaves loosely with a plastic bag and store them on the counter at room temperature. Treat it with care, and you'll be rewarded with its fragrant and nice like flavor in all your culinary creations. Avocados, our final food item on our list. The beloved fruit, yes, fruit, that has taken the culinary world by storm. They're creamy, versatile, and packed with nutrients. But there's one common avocado mistake that makes me want to flip a table refrigerating unripe avocados. Refrigerating an unripe avocado is like sending it to solitary confinement. The cold temperature halts the ripening process, leaving you with a hard, flavorless avocado. Instead, let them ripen at room temperature. Once they're ripe, you can store them in the fridge to slow down further ripening. Treat them right and they'll reward you with their creamy texture and nutty flavor. So there you have it. You're now armed with the knowledge to keep your food fresh and flavorful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Now go forth and conquer your kitchen. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.